Hello, I am Demon. Today we are going to be taking a look at The Islander by Nightwish. Um, this particular release was released on Nightwish's channel upon the uh, departure of Marco. Kind of a, a farewell to wish him the best. This is The Islander. Let's check it out. Here we go. A Norman by a seashore oh. at the end of day is the horizon where sea winds in his face tempest tossed wow. silent seasons all the same anchor urgent painted and a ship without a name sea without a shore he is majestic as frig he lightens the beacon light at the end of world showing their way lighting hope in their heart once in their travels go what from afar oh. Oh. before we get into the next part of that song um i'm getting kind of like a sea shanty vibe i feel like this might be about um a um a a, a, a sailing man a man who sails the sea and uh a ship without a name. Interesting. Very interesting. It's almost like... Tumas, Tumas is very masterful in his lyrics. Um, some of them can be very cryptic. Let's continue. Oh, that... Ooh. <laughs> I agree! Laulatte? Mm-hmm. Okay, sit the bed. Yes, yes. For long forgotten light at the end of the world. Horizon wow. cry. The tears he left behind long ago. Oh wow, that guitar, that guitar. He is wielding a bass connected to a guitar, I think. I don't know. Are they both six strings? I want to go back and look at that. That's a bass, that's a guitar. Wow. That is a beast of a guitar. My goodness. The musicianship of Marco has always impressed me. Um... Uh, that's why I say he's my favorite singer in Nightwish. Whenever someone brings up the whole war of, you know, who's the better singer in Nightwish, um, Marco. Marco. He wins by default. And why shouldn't he? He's a national treasure in his own country of, I believe, Finland. Um, you know, and the staying power throughout the band. He's like, uh, it's like hearing a a song from... That cool uncle, you know? Oh, let's continue. If that cool uncle was like a Viking Nordic god. <laughs> hmm. Oh, he's finger picking. The wow. albatross is flying, making him daydream. Time mm. before he became one of the worlds and sea. Wow. Princess in the tower, children in the fields. Life gave him it all, and I don't know the universe. Oh. Ah, now his love's a memory, ghost in the fog. He sits the sails from last and saying farewell to the world.
Marco leaves me speechless every time. Um, his ability to storytell, you know, and, and put emphasis on certain lyrics and, and uh, draw out certain syllables, and he, he's an excellent storyteller. You know, um, it's like he can he can sing any any style. This is almost it almost feels like a sea shanty. You know, we're just a, a couple instruments shy of the sea shanty, and. It's interesting. He's telling the story of this sailor. And I'm just so encapsulated by the whole experience that, you know, I'm trying to dig for a deeper meaning while we're going along, but I'm just getting lost in the experience. So let's continue to get lost. Eyes and cry, yeah. mm. The tears you left behind long ago. Tears left behind long ago. Oh, now it's a sea shanty. Oh, Marco. Four. Yeah. Oh wow, he is great on that poop. Yo. The entire vibe of this song. Before we get into that next part, just that something as simple as a flute solo, you know, it 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 it, it really sets the tonality for this entire song. The the way that your brain kind of interprets it, it it's it's um it, it draws you in to the narrative of this sailor and um it seems like an unknown sailor and there are tales of love and there are tales of other things and i i it, it seems like there's a finality coming with this sailor I don't know, let's continue. But gosh, what a masterful performance. I'm taken aback. Like I'm I'm scrambling for words because this is amazing. Marco, I love Marco and Floor. This is for love. Light at the end of the world. I love when they harmonize. This is entrancing. Oh, that vibrato. Did you catch that vibrato? Marco's been doing certain tricks, like like turning one vowel into another mid-belt and vibrato. Certain things with his voice that, that, that again, set the tonality of the song and the flute in the background. Just simple, you know? Just simple stuff. Guitar, flute, and their weaving is a theoretical feeling. Oh, goodness. Oh. Lord. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. What a belt. What a belt. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, 
Oh, wow, that was amazing. What you're looking at are like two vocal performers at the top of their game in Marco and, and Floor. And the humility in Floor to take the back seat, you know, and kind of let Marco be at the forefront and kind of be humble enough to not overdo those backing vocals, but just to, just to add enough, just enough to make the song work. Um, and, and to put emphasis on the narrative, seemingly, rather than trying to stand out. Um, Marco, I, I can't, I can't even begin to enumerate the ways in which he is a vocal talent. I, I've, I've really enjoyed my journey through Nightwish so far, and. Here's hoping it never ends. <laughs>